Hi, Brian Jackson for IT World Canada here at Technicity, the event that we co-host with the City of Toronto. And I'm actually here with somebody from the city now. Lan Nguyen is the Deputy CIO for Toronto. Welcome. Now, you were just on our open data panel, and who better to have on the panel because you've been running the open data program at the City of Toronto since its inception, and all the way back in 2009. So tell us about the program's origins and how it's evolved over the years. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, we found ourselves uh, uh, into a new journey of open data since 2009, right after the Web 2.0 conference and it's really give us uh, a lot of uh, uh, insight uh, and um, also understanding that it was the time that the time was right for us to start launching the open data uh, uh, program and we were very fortunate that the mayor then David Miller uh, agreed to launch the open data officially in 2009 and uh, we were on the road since then and it's been six, uh, six years. Uh, we, uh, uh, right away, on the very same day that we have the open data launch, we have also a developer hackathon. And within half an hour, and having a number of data available to these developer from the communities, they were able to come up with some very uh, interesting and exciting application. And it really gave us right away a very good understanding of the possibility and the potential of open data. So as we've gone through the past six years, uh, we have expanded uh, by engaging with our communities, our academic institution, university and colleges, and, and developers, especially the community of developers across the city, but also with different cities as well. And we have established now quite a, a, a very, very robust and vibrant community of developers across the city, entrepreneur, students, um, uh, businesses, uh, and they coming up and they really got together from time to time with us facilitating to many different hackathons, right? And they have really uh, uh, have built quite a, a, a very interesting and rich uh, uh, kind of a community environment from Open Data with many, many different exciting applications. We have now well over a hundred applications used by the city open data. All of them are developed outside of the city. For example, uh, we, we have an uh, uh, application uh, to tell you about where are some of the most exciting events and festivals across the city. We have application telling you where, uh, when to pick up your next bus, when to pick up your, you know, from TTC, this is from TTC, uh, how to chart your plan after you head out of the house, how to plan your, your transit. We have application that you can actually immediately uh, uh, get your request to 311 in fixing your pothole, right? That is instantly being done by, you know, uh, to the open data. And we have a lot of application around transportation, around weather, around water, around, um, uh, you know, child care, right? Uh, where is my uh, next, uh, where is my child care center that actually have the highest rating? in services, for example, all that through open data. So we are now have about 200 uh, set of open data, but in those 300 set of data, there's a wealth, like uh, thousands of sub data set in there, raw data for developer to, uh, uh, to use it, developing application and commercialize. Some successful story, we have one, one person, uh, they couldn't get enough data in Waterloo, so he came to Toronto, uh, was able to come up uh, with an, an, uh, uh, an app called Map Your Property to provide real estate broker and people how to you know look at your buy zone, uh, by, uh, your, your, your property, and it's such a good, you know, uh, I guess successful story that he even got a grant from Silicon Valley. He hire also people, that's you know, job creation, and he attract the attention of the CD planner to agree to release even more data on the planning area you know, around geospatial and property. So we have many uh, interesting, I would call a commercial innovation uh, created by the fact that we have more data made it available for the uh, entrepreneur, smart entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Of all the data that the city's released uh, to the open data platform, what data is the most popular to access? Okay. Well, we monitor weekly. Transportation is very popular, right? Anything to do with public safety. 
uh, anything to do with the demographic. Uh, we have the Wellbeing Neighborhood Index, very well used. Over 170 data around neighborhood, crime, demographic, uh, salary, uh, and you know, from economic, from people to start business. So, but it's very also depending on the day-to-day -day uh, topic in the news. Like this past couple of weeks is all around climate, all around public safety, all around uh, mm, interesting basement flooding, right? Uh, economic and 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 uh, uh, business seem to be indicators seem to be a bit lower, and I think it's really related to the concern of the citizen on the topic of the day. Right? So mm -hmm. fascinating. Well, Lan, thank you so much for your time and great job on the panel. Again, I'm Brian Jackson. We're here at Technicity with IT World Canada.